In 2025, behind those closed doors in Engelholm, Koenigsegg isn't just refining hypercars. They're redefining what performance means in the modern era. The hints are subtle but seismic. A new engine that gives enormous freedom to combustion? That's not just innovation. It's rebellion in an age obsessed with batteries and range anxiety. Some insiders whisper about a next-gen combustion engine that achieves electrifying efficiency without the weight of batteries. Others point to hybrid systems so advanced they blur the line between mechanical and digital. And then there's the wild card, the rumored quark motor and rocks drivetrain that might fuse electric responsiveness with the soul of a V8. Christian von Koenigsegg isn't chasing Tesla. He's not copying Porsche. He's doing what he's always done, building for the edge of possibility with no compromise, no committee, and no interest in following anyone's path but his own. While the rest of the world debates software updates in EV charging networks, Koenigsegg is out there, quietly, obsessively, engineering a new kind of performance religion. One that doesn't fit into neat little categories. One that might turn the entire industry on its head. Because in 2025, the future of speed might not be electric, or gas, or even hybrid in the traditional sense. It might be Koenigsegg and it might be something we've never seen before. We'll get to that in a moment. All you need to know right now is this. Koenigsegg is up to something again. Enter the Gamera, a family car and a track monster all in one. When Koenigsegg announced the Gamera, people thought it was a prank. A four-seater grand tourer from the same brand that builds cars with fighter jet doors and speeds that scare NASA? It didn't make sense until it did. Because Koenigsegg wasn't just making a family car. They were making the family car, one that could fit four adults comfortably, carry luggage, and still out-accelerate a Bugatti Chiron. The Gemera wasn't a compromise. It was a dare. This wasn't a car built for balance. It was built for contradiction. Luxury meets lunacy, practicality fused with power. And it all started under the skin. Instead of going with a big V12 or a bulky EV setup, Koenigsegg introduced the world to the Tiny Friendly Giant, or TFG for short, a 2.0-liter three-cylinder engine that alone turned heads. But what dropped jaws was what it could do. 600 horsepower, thanks to twin turbos and camless free-valve technology. No cams, no belts, just software controlling every valve in real time. The engine could shut off cylinders mid-drive or breathe differently depending on how hard you pushed it. It wasn't just small, it was smart and terrifyingly efficient. Of course, this wasn't just about internal combustion. Koenigsegg knew the future leaned electric, so they added three electric motors, one for each rear wheel and one on the crankshaft. Together with the TFG, the Jumeirah produced up to 1,700 horsepower. It could run purely electric, purely on gas, or mix both for brutal acceleration. And despite being a plug-in hybrid, it didn't care much about your range anxiety. It offered over 600 miles of total range with a full tank and a charge. That's Stockholm to Paris in one go, without slowing down. Then came the design. At first glance, it looked like a Koenigsegg, sleek, low, aggressive. But then you noticed the massive clamshell doors, no B-pillar the whole side of the car opening like a sci-fi airlock, revealing a cabin that felt more like a Scandinavian lounge than a hypercar. Four individual bucket seats, full infotainment for front and back passengers, and cup holders. Yes, actual cup holders in a Koenigsegg. The absurdity wasn't lost on anyone. What made it all work, though, was the control. Despite its size and weight, the Gamera wasn't a boat. It handled like a car half its size thanks to active rear-wheel steering, torque vectoring, and a carbon monocoque chassis. It was still a Koenigsegg at heart, sharp, responsive, alive. While other manufacturers were still trying to figure out how to make electric SUVs handle like sports cars, Koenigsegg had already made a four-seater that could drift around corners and still seat grandma in the back. But as always with Koenigsegg, there was more going on than meets the eye. Even the original Gemra spec wasn't the final form. Whispers from the factory hinted at a version with even more power. A different engine, something that would change the entire platform. And in 2023, they confirmed it. 
offering the hot V8 from the Jesco as an option. That meant 2,300 horsepower in a family car. But as always with Koenigsegg, there was more going on than meets the eye. Even the original Jamera spec wasn't the final form. Whispers from the factory hinted at a version with even more power, a different engine, something that would change the entire platform. And in 2023, they confirmed it, offering the hot V8 from the Jesco as an option. That meant 2,300 horsepower in a family car. No, seriously, it wasn't about chasing EVS. It was about staying ahead of them. And while the world kept waiting for Koenigsegg to go fully electric, the company kept showing the industry there's still a smarter way, a more thrilling way, one that doesn't rely on heavy batteries or artificial noise, but real mechanical drama with just enough volts to make the whole thing even scarier. The Gamera proved that Koenigsegg could do the unthinkable, blend everyday usability with record-breaking performance. But according to insiders, the Jamera might also be the testing ground for something even more extreme. Because behind the scenes, a new formula has been brewing. One that doesn't just push boundaries, it ignores them entirely. Enter the dark matter motor. Koenigsegg has never been shy about doing things their own way. But with the dark matter motor, they didn't just step out of the box, they vaporized it. When the company unveiled this single electric motor setup for the production version of the Jamera, the message was clear. Forget what you know about EV powertrains. This was something else entirely. First, the basics. On paper, at least, dark matter is a six-phase raxial flux motor, combining radial and axial flux designs into one extremely compact, brutally efficient unit. It delivers 800 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters of torque from a single motor. No dual motors, no gimmicks, no. But as always with Koenigsegg, there was more going on than meets the eye. Even the original Jamera spec wasn't the final form. Whispers from the factory hinted at a version with even more power, a different engine, something that would change the entire platform. And in 2023, they confirmed it offering the hot V8 from the Jesco as an option. That meant 2,300 horsepower in a family car. No, seriously, it wasn't about chasing EVS. It was about staying ahead of them. And while the world kept waiting for Koenigsegg to go fully electric, 